Hi guys, it's Carl here, the owner of Sir True. I've got James Dooley, the owner of Fat Rank, on the line, and we're going to talk today about manual action pen penalties. So specifically, there's in um, with the new March update, there's a penalty came out, which is the unnatural links to your site. So if you're seeing this penalty in Google, it's specifically described as unnatural links to your site. Google has detected a pattern of unnatural, artificial, deceptive, or manipulative links pointing to pages on this website. These may be a result of buying links that pass page rank or participating in link schemes. And then again, it will say how many pages it affects, whether or not it's the whole um, site-wide or just affects some pages. Um, what's your thoughts on this, Dooley? Well, to be honest with you, we've... We own Backlink Doctor, so we do a lot of um, disavows and reconsideration requests for people that have got an unnatural links penalty. And this has been going on for obviously years and years. What I would say recently is, which is quite surprising, is a lot of the recent penalties where I'll just read the actual, the email that they get. So the email that comes through says, unnatural inbound links to the domain name violate Google spam policies, right? And in these recent ones, what's been very surprising is previously, I would say Google's been very good at ignoring toxic or bad links, especially if the anchors are like by Viagra or this, it's clear that the very, very low quality mass produced GSA or web twos and stuff like that. Google does a great job of ignoring these apart from in this last update. And in this last update, in total, in the last four days, there's been 16 different inquiries come through for people that have had an unnatural links penalty. And when we're looking at it, it looks like they've had negative SEO attacks, which has put them above a toxicity threshold, which then means that they've now had this penalty, where previously, some of these negative special attacks for spammy links that has been sent to the site has been ignored pretty well. And normally, believe it or not, it's some of the ones that look like good links that might be guest posts that people have bought or PBMs that they've had built. And it's some of those deceptive type of links and link farms that has caused the penalty, where at the moment, it seems like negative special is working better than it ever has. And that, that's the surprising bit. So obviously there is ways, if someone has got an unnatural links penalty, there is certain ways of you being able to get out of it. There's certain processes of what you need to do is you need to file a reconsideration request. And as part of the reconsideration request, you need to manually, you need to prove to, to Google that you've tried to manually outreach to a lot of the sites that are pointing through to your website that you think are toxic and you don't know why these are linking through to your site and manually get the links removed. Once you've done that, all other backlinks where they haven't responded, you need to then load those domains into a disavow file and upload and then file for a reconsideration request. And hopefully Google will come back and revoke the penalty or they might say, you still have certain links and give you some examples of certain links that should then be removed or added to your disavow file. So, yeah, go on. Go on I was going to say another little important part to that as well, which is quite interesting, the messages that we've sent is, let's say, for instance, you don't recognize the link at all. Obviously, you've reached out to the webmaster and the webmaster comes back and says, no problem, I'll remove it, but it's going to cost you $100. You can actually, Google's even said, if they try to make you pay to remove it, still add them to the disavow. So don't, yeah. don't pay the money, add them to the disavow. Yeah, for sure. I mean, people have got to clean up their act nowadays. It's no quality over quantity, and this goes for both content and also for backlinks. Like, you shouldn't be going out just buying spammy, cheap Fiverr gigs for um, backlinks. You shouldn't be going doing mass-produced AI content without looking at the content or at least giving the right prompts and tone of voice and the source context and stuff like that. You've got to make certain that when you are looking to promote linkable assets on your site, so try to attract some backlinks that come through to your site, that 
it's not being mass produced. It's not using certain tools like Money Robot or GSA and certain ones like that. It's you've got to make certain that you're cleaning up your act. I would also strongly recommend business owners to try and start doing proactive disavows to make certain that they are removing any toxic links that might be pointing through to their site that they've not built, i.e. it could be a form of Nexpresso attack or image scraper type links, because these are all adding to your toxicity threshold. And at present, it feels like the toxicity threshold has been lowered or they're now starting to include a lot of these, what there was once ignoring, they're starting to include these into the unnatural links kind of attack um, and manual action penalty, which is quite surprising. I thought, if anything, they'd be moving further away from these because I would say now more than ever, it's rife for people in the industry in certain high ticket items like the casino market for next special attacks happening day to day um, on certain sites and they're allowing this to happen, which is which is pretty surprising. But yeah, you just got to clean up your act and it can be revoked. You just got to know the process and maybe use a certain specialist like Backlink Doctor or something like that or anyone else that might be able to go out and be able to do the reconsideration request, be able to do the outreach to try and get them removed initially or do a disavow and understand what toxic links and program, uh, problematic links are needed to be added through to the um, into the disavow file. Yeah, so definitely say if anyone's experienced or recently just been hit with one of the manual actions, especially in unnatural links to your site penalty, um, please feel free to reach out to us or get in touch below. Yeah, I mean, leave a comment in the comment section. Have you been hit with an unnatural link penalty? Do you feel that you shouldn't have been hit? Like, give some examples of certain links that there's, that Google are showing at present that they're saying that this, this has been built. I mean, some of the ones, some of the examples that they're giving at the moment are clearly that the, the webmasters have not built these links. So make sure you leave a comment in the comment section and let us know whether, have you had an unnatural links penalty, manual action, in Google Search Console.